everybody, this is Nia Feiler. I know, I know, you haven't seen me for four months. I put up a personal video in Hebrew, unfortunately, that tells about everything that happens and why I've been absent. But I can just shorten it for you and say, hey, my mom was dying, I was taking care of her, and then she died, and then I was mourning. If you want the short version, here it is. Let's talk about the sky. Let's talk about the energies. So if you've been following me or other astrologers for that fact, you know these aren't easy years for mankind. Very transformative times. But very important ones. Maybe the most important for any human alive ever. And especially when we come down to these months, when we come down to these weeks, to the next few weeks, and the current energy in the sky, we find a very intensive energy there that is known for its combative and um, sometimes even cruel uh, acts and, and, and shows, you know. And we're talking both collectively and individually within our personal lives talking about a square in the sky between Mars planet of male energy and Pluto Hades goddess of the underworld and Scorpio and indeed we can feel things deeply at this time and get more agitated by those tremors if you will we need to watch how we treat others and how we treat ourselves at this time other than that Mercury planet of communication and commerce is both trining Saturn and squaring Neptune all along the next two weeks and this is almost an opposite effect because the trine to Saturn calls us to align ourselves our action our commerce with our near environment our communication with what we need to start developing, how we need to age, better ourselves, grow up, take responsibility, and mature. And it could certainly help us on that road and make us more mature and responsible with the way we handle everything around us. Yet at the same time, we have the square to Neptune that causes bewilderment and a misty environment, we're not sure where we're going. Uncertainty raises its head. We don't know who or what to believe. We could believe things that are unreal or do moves that are not realistic. But indeed, we could be romantic and inspiring. And we need to find a balance between these two. Don't be too harsh and critical. Don't be too aged and staunch. But don't be too out there as well <laughs> keep it real um, let's say that around July 4th we have an exact sextile between Mercury and Mars this could cause us to become more straightforward it could help us state what it is we need to state and take forward what it is we want to take forward but we need to make sure we're not doing this too directly and too impulsively as the sun will start uh, 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 sextiling Uranus as well and this causes us more to be um, you know in a faster pace wanting to get forward invite the new into our lives and that's actually helping us cope with all the changes around bring in the new but it also shortens our breath in a sense it shortens our um, you know the time spent between hearing someone and understanding they don't understand and losing your patience with them <laughs> it could cause us more to lose our tempers with people or projects that are in our life currently and hurt them um, and when we come to the 13th we have a full moon in Capricorn it's not an easy moon it's not a nice time in the sky and what I want to ask you is even if you do feel at that full moon like you're not getting enough support like you need to handle too much on your own like life is too hard and it really impacts your emotions dramatically 
understand what it is you need to change to make your life and your emotions more positive. But don't lash out. Don't break up things from that rage, you know, or that um, intensive feeling. Be positive towards yourselves and others at this time as it is a time that counts. And we don't want scars to go along with us. It is a time to be mature. It is a time to be responsible. Even if we might feel like we want to be cradled and comforted. Be your own parent. Be the parent you've dreamt you always would have for your own self at this time. Yeah, I know you miss me. <laughs> and at the 16th, I missed you too. At the 16th of July, we have a Kazemi, Mercury, goddess, a uh, god of, well, sometimes goddess as well, totally androgynous there. Uh, god of commerce and communication is uh, coming to the king, the sun, and convening with the king, getting into the heart of the sun and getting the energy of the sun. And indeed, this is a time to sow new action, new thoughts, new moves, new friends, and imagine yourselves, who you want to be, what you want to be doing, what philosophy you want to carry in the next three months and forward. I want to tell you that I'd love to hear from you for readings, consultations, private lessons or courses. All the details are at the slide at the end. May we all live long and prosper. This is Nia Feiler. Bye-bye.